Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to create this video to talk more about some Touch ID tweaks for the iPhone 5S, and again, it's Touch ID sensor that's built into the home button. Now, I already created a dedicated video for a tweak called Virtual Home that can be found inside of Cydia, for the iPhone 5S, and I'll have that linked on the screen now in an annotation form, so if you have yet to watch that video, just be sure to check it out. I'm going to be discussing the beta version of that tweak today, and I'm also going to discuss a completely new tweak in this video. And before we really get into it, I want to preface by saying two things. First of all, if you aren't already jailbroken, you're going to need to be jailbroken to install these tweaks, so just be sure to visit my untethered iOS 7.0.4 jailbreak tutorial using Evasion 7 from from the evaders. All right, and the second thing is that if you see anything demonstrated in this video that I don't actually discuss, then just be sure to watch my recent top 10 Cydia tweaks video because I guarantee you you'll be able to find the tweak there in the list that I compiled. All right, and I'm going to talk about the latest Touch ID Cydia tweak. However, I wanted to mention BioProtect. So in my top tweaks video, I actually went over this one. Again, it allows you to protect different applications securely using your fingerprint. So you can set it up, for instance, to where if you go to open the Messages app, it requires you to scan your fingerprint before it actually allows you entry into said app. Well now, Fame developer Ryan Petrich pushed out his own version of BioProtect. It's significantly improved and I definitely recommend recommend it over BioProtect. It's called BioLockdown. I'm going to show you exactly why I prefer it after giving you a quick demonstration. So as you can see, I've locked down the Cydia app to where when I go to open it, it asks me to scan my fingerprint. So I have this really nice and elegant, simple prompt for BioLockdown, and I much prefer it to the prompt for BioProtect, and I'll explain more why. But let me first just unlock Cydia. As you can see, once you do, it brings up the application that you have locked via your fingerprint and now we are at the screen for BioProtect inside of Cydia. So if you haven't refreshed Cydia in a while, just be sure to do so. So go down to the Changes tab and then hit Refresh in the top left. Once you do, you'll be able to go to the Search tab and then search for BioLockdown all one word and you can install it. Now it's actually a dollar cheaper than BioProtect. You can find it and install it for $1.99, whereas BioProtect is $2.99. Now in addition to being simpler than BioProtect, it also offers more functionality and it doesn't have the same animation. So let me show you really quick on the iPad here. Now, as you can see, just by looking at the screenshots, because I actually don't have it installed, when the prompt appears, it does have this animation where it appears as though it's scanning your finger. Now, this is bad for one very important and very big reason. It does take up and consume quite a bit of battery, especially if you have a lot of applications secured and you unlock them on a regular basis. Displaying that animation over and over and over again does consume battery, and actually the first iteration of BioProtect that was released continued to loop that animation, causing the iPhone 5s to overheat and battery to wear down substantially. That's been corrected though, but it still does consume battery, again if you're unlocking applications on a regular basis. And of course, like I said before, that's why I like BioLockdown better. It provides a simple prompt and it doesn't have that animation. Instead, it just has a very clean picture of a fingerprint up at the top. So I'm actually going to cancel this. We're going to go inside of the settings application. I'm going to scroll down to BioLockdown and then I'm I'm going to go over it. So of course, first it asks you to unlock it with a fingerprint that's been confirmed through Touch ID. All right, there we go. So now that I'm inside of it, I have some options. First of all, you're going to need to enable it, and then you can add new restrictions. Now, besides just adding applications, you can also add different setting panes. So for instance, I have the setting pane set to where when you go to edit bio lockdown settings, again, you need to scan your fingerprint. You can also do this for pretty much anything inside of the settings application. So I could even do it for cellular, notification center, control center, do not disturb, etc. You can also set different switches from control center to use the same bio lockdown method. So I'm actually going to set it for Bluetooth really quick just to show you guys. So when I swipe up here and I go to Bluetooth, it's going to ask me to scan my fingerprint before it enables or disables it. Once you do, again, it will toggle that setting. So I'm just going to turn it off now and then scan my fingerprint. So now I've given you the reasons why I prefer bio lockdown over bio protect. 
fact. First of all, it's cheaper, it doesn't display that animation which consumes battery, and it has more options. So of course, if you want an incredible way for securing your applications, Bio Lockdown is the way to go. Now, let's talk about Virtual Home. The developer is about to push out an update to Cydia that will add some awesome functionality. I previously discussed it in a separate video and also in my top tweets video, I recommend watching both. And now inside of the settings pane for Virtual Home, you have three options. You can enable or disable it, you can toggle vibrate on touch, and you can also toggle quick unlock, which allows you to simply unlock your device just by tapping on the Touch ID sensor instead of actually having to either press down the home button or press down the power lock button before it is able to scan your fingerprint. It just does it immediately. Now, in addition to simply tapping it to return to the home screen, you can also double tap it to enter this multitasking view before you had to long press it and then it would enter multitasking. Now what happens when you long press it is that it enables Siri. So it's more similar to the actual clickable home button. However, of course, you don't have to actually click it again because it has this touch ID sensor around the home button. It can instantly detect when your finger is placed on the button and it will provide different actions accordingly. Another great thing is that the version of virtual home that's about to be pushed to Cydia also includes support for both BioProtect, if you decide to go that route, and Bio Lockdown. So as you can see, now when I use it, it simply opens the application instead of thinking that I'm trying to use the virtual home tweak. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope you guys liked it. Of course, I will be pushing out numerous tweak videos in the very near future, including another top tweaks video and more Touch ID tweaks once they become available on Cydia. So just be sure to watch for those. Of course, don't forget to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section if you like this video and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And to be notified more often, such as when I release those videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.